Let me thank all of you for inviting me uh, to speak to you at your 78th National Convention. Uh, more importantly, uh, let me thank all of the UE workers who are standing up year after year against corporate greed and demanding that the working class of this country receives the respect and the dignity which it deserves. Decade after decade, the UE has been a leader in the struggle for economic justice. You have been one of the great unions in American history, and I am so proud to be saying a few words to you today at your convention. So let me begin by congratulating Local 506 and Local 618 and everyone involved in the success, successful 10-week strike you waged at Warbeck in Erie, Pennsylvania. And let's be clear, Warbeck is not the, Warbeck, I should say, is not the only union victory UE has won this year, uh, not by a long shot. Over the first four months of this year alone, incredibly, over 14,000 grads Grad workers have overwhelmingly voted to join the UE at Northwestern, Johns Hopkins, the University of Chicago, Dartmouth, and the University of Minnesota. UE grad workers at MIT recently won significant improvements to wages and benefits and a tentative agreement that could serve as a model for future union contracts at universities all over America. And what is so exciting to me, what the UE is doing, is organizing, whether it's blue collar, white collar, whatever it is, what we are seeing, the UE is reaching out, bringing more people into the labor movement, and that is extraordinarily important. UE workers at the Refresco bottling plant in New Jersey also want a union contract that includes significant pay raises, better benefits, and better working conditions. What these union victories tell me is that working people are sick and tired with the outrageous level of corporate greed that is taking place all over this country. By the way, it's not just the UE. We're seeing the Teamsters standing up and fighting. We're seeing the UAW standing up and fighting. SEIU standing up and fighting. What we are seeing now, and it's long overdue, and thank God it is happening, is we're seeing a resurgence of the trade union movement in this country, more and more workers organizing, and more and more workers prepared to go on strike for dignity. And the reason that all of that is happening, I think, is that when working people look around them and they see what's happening, and they see the people on top doing fantastically well while they are struggling, what they are saying is enough is enough. People are sick and tired of CEOs making 400 times as much as their average workers. Can you believe that? It was, you know, rich CEOs always made more money than their workers, 20 times more, 30 times more, not 400 times more. People are sick and tired with the high cost of health care. People can't afford to go to the doctor. Sick and tired of the high cost of prescription drugs, gas at the pump, groceries. We are seeing an unprecedented level of corporate greed. People are tired of it. Workers are fighting back. And the working class of this country is sick and tired of a rigged economy in which over 60% of our people live paycheck to pay paycheck. And I know that. I grew up in a family that lived paycheck to paycheck. Many of you have lived paycheck to paycheck. Meanwhile, my people are struggling on the bottom Three people on top own more wealth than the bottom half of our society. Three people here, 165 million Americans over there. That is wrong. People are sick and tired of a corrupt political system, which as a result of the disastrous Citizens United Supreme Court decision allows billionaires to buy elections. That's not what democracy is about. That's oligarchy. In our country today, people are sick and tired of a dysfunctional healthcare system, 
in which 85 million Americans are uninsured or underinsured, while over 500,000 people go bankrupt, bankrupt every year because of medically related debt. And unbelievably, you don't talk about it too much, over 60,000 people die each year because they cannot go to a doctor when they need to go to a doctor. Imagine that. We spend twice as much per capita on healthcare as any other country. Over 60,000 people die because they don't get the medical care they need. And throughout our country, people are sick and tired of paying by far the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs, while the 10 largest drug companies made over $100 billion in profit last year. So what's this all about? What is all of this struggle about? Picket lines, organizing, political fights. Not very complicated. What the American people want overwhelmingly, doesn't matter whether they're Democrats, Republicans, Independents, Progressives, Conservatives, what people want is an economy that works for all of us and not just the 1%. That's what it's about. And that is what the UE has always been about. So brothers and sisters, I just want to take a moment to let you know what I see in terms of the economy today. And they don't talk about it too much in the corporate media. Surely we don't talk about it too much in the halls of Congress. But unbelievably today in the United States, at a time of massive income and wealth inequality, weekly wages for the average American worker are actually $50 lower, lower than they were 50 years ago after adjusting for inflation. Let me say that again, because this is an extraordinary, extraordinarily important point that very few people are talking about. You know, you want to know why are the people angry? Why is there so much discontent in America? Weekly wages today for the average American worker are lower than they were 50 years ago. In other words, despite a massive increase in worker productivity, I don't have to tell you that. You all know they've got machinery now, which is, makes every worker far more productive. But despite all of that, despite record-breaking corporate profits, despite corporate America spending hundreds of billions of dollars on stock buybacks and dividends, the average American worker is worse off today than he or she was 50 years ago. That's the issue. And over the past 50 years, there has been a massive redistribution of wealth. Problem is that it has gone in exactly the wrong direction. Since 1975, $50 trillion, $50 trillion in wealth has been redistributed from the bottom 90% to the top 1%, primarily because a growing percentage of corporate profits have been flowing into the stock portfolios of the very rich. What the UE understands, and what I understand, is that we refuse to live in an oligarchic form of society. We refuse to accept a society in which so few have so much and so many have so little. Enough is enough. Let us stand together to end corporate greed. Let us stand together to rebuild the disappearing middle class. Let us create an economy that works for all, not just the 1%. That's what our struggle is today. And I'm so proud to be working with the UE, who has been front and center in that fight for the working class of this country. Thank you all very, very much.